Okay, welcome back to the my channel. Wel welcome back to the, the Valley the Old Farm. And yesterday we we complete those Sorghum contracts, and we got a I believe it was a um, seventeen thousand liters of sorghum for ourselves. They are all on a silo, so we got thirty-seven. I mean 47,000 liters of sorghum over there and our 7R is a little bit little bit dirty but hopefully we we can someday buy our uh, well I just forgot chat uh, washer we need to wash our vehicles and yeah uh, other things what we did is the field 52 is now uh, seeded there is a canola and we have rolled it and there is just a couple of weeds we don't know if we are going to buy a weeder or maybe we use our sprayer to get rid of those weeds then we got over here we got a little bit of apples there's a four i believe it's a five five hundred liters per boxes so let's take this yeah 500 liters so there is a two thousand liters of uh apples there is nothing well there is a little bit of manure uh that's interesting i didn't i ha did they take the manure from the cowbuster or am i missing something i i have not uh, Deliver the manure in here. Any, so where where is the over there? Mm. Yeah, there is some manure. That's interesting. Oh yeah, it's from the cow pasture or the big big pen. But f first thing. Today, I mean, there is a lot of things. We have to market the uh, manure out of the pastures, all three, and then we need to get rid of those weeds. After that, we need to cultivate that field 50, was it 51? Yeah, the sorghum field. And then there, it's we got to harvest field 62 and then there is a uh, both of our grass grass fields are ready this one is fully ready and this the bigger one is we gonna cut it just tomorrow but the little grass field we gonna cut it today so we got lots to do and we we just need to find our our where is our Merlo? I think it's over here. No. Where did I put it? Mm. Yeah. That's a good question. There you are. Oh yeah, I saw those cows, cows in the evening, so we just have to get the bucket, and bucket is over there, let's put the beacons on so we can see a little bit better. Okay, so now we open the door and there is not much of manure in this 
this pasture because the beef cattle is young so they don't reproduce so much manure than the pole stains so that's a half a half a bucket so but they are now cleaned they have some feed I believe actually let let's take the status of the animals so the whole stance there is a 17,000 liters of TMR we need to sorry just drinking some coffee mm. we need to sort this in the evening chickens they are pretty good we need to well yeah they don't need feed uh, sheeps pretty good I mean good uh, Angus uh, they might need some feed at the evening and obviously those pigs we need to get get some feed for them too straw for the cows it's pretty good and and pigs yeah so yeah let's take this over here close the door so they don't they won't get out of the pasture and then we are gonna go to the pig pen there is a little bit little bit more manure than the than the beef barn or pasture I believe this is 15,000 liters of manure on here yeah they are sorted out mm. do they have any slurry in here mm. 4000 liters so they got 4000 liters and Let's take these. There's a twelve and a half, three point three, and four point three. So there is a about twenty thousand liters of slurry. We could fertilize the field with that kind of. Actually, we're gonna go to the other way. But yeah, I am going to mark this, this, and then then we're gonna jump on the new Holland, and we're gonna harvest that soya beans. Obviously, that is a tiny field, so that that wouldn't take so long. Oh, there is a much more manure than the other pastures. I believe there is now 10,000 liters of manure on that pile. So yeah, that's okay. We 
we're gonna leave this over here for time being and then we're gonna close the door yeah there is our Valtra with the feeding wagon they can be over there and then we're going to harvest that soya bean field we got some actually we got some bull in here a little bit just a half a pallet so they are okay they are producing something but yeah let's jump on here those contracts last night they they took our couple of hours to complete so there's a I believe there's still a half an hour for our own use and then the contract fields we did about two hours yesterday and hopefully we can get the about 10,000 liters of soya beans over here or well whatever it comes we gonna we gonna go with that and I just need to think about what are we gonna do with this field are we gonna do this for the wheat or, or something else because the other big field is already for the canal and things like that and we need to there is obviously we don't need a uh, much feed uh, I mean feed I mean wheat because we have a uh, uh, about 37 thousand liters in the silo so chickens and pigs will will do it a pretty pretty decent time with that amount so only thing is uh, the canola but we have uh, already seeded that so but we obviously we need something uh, some kind of crop with uh, a lot to have a uh, straw so mm, well the oats are aren't though we don't we don't need oats anywhere so because we don't have horses so that's give the only option is wheat or barley and I'm thinking that we are gonna go with the wheat winter f wheat would be nice and to get so some some straw on the to the next summer and yeah we we got straw on the on the yard a little bit and but i i haven't calculated that how much they're gonna need obviously the the beef cattle is they are growing bigger and bigger so they need more and more feed and straw and things like that but uh, I believe this field is a little bit small to the to, f to sort our straw situation so I think we're gonna do uh, that 51 to the to feed 
I mean wheat uh, and then this field is just yeah I'm not sure what we are gonna plant it maybe we can plant some corns or something else maybe in the future but uh I think I'm gonna leave that field to the to the autumn not autumn what is the mm, fall uh, fall is the school autumn is it that <laughs> but yeah we d don't have a much of a soya beans there is only less than 5000 liters so that that field is not not going to sort any of our problems maybe we can buy another field from the near there is a there is a couple of options that i'm interesting that uh mm, That is grass field. What is the field 63? Oh, that's barley. Mm. And it's just planted. How much is that? 145. And this is 164. Those are so. And this one is plowed. No, it's not plowed, it's harvested. Um, 295. I would go better with these two than this one. But yeah, um, there is a couple of things that I, I have thinking about. Because, uh, well, oh, there is a new combine. I see Ferguson, Ideal Parallel, and Fent Warrior 300. Mm. We don't need any more small tractors, we got one already. So, mm, uh, things that i thinking about that uh, bale trailer is the Thirty-seven thousand. There is a option to. I think about that. Uh, we. I will use this one. This is auto load. Like. And this even. Even do the. Can be delivering those pallets and things like that. Pale and pallet trailer. That would be a great trade off. And then, obviously, we got that slurry spreader, which is too big for our farm, well, our tractors. So we might trade that little bit smaller. Mm. But yeah, we shall see. Uh, I am gonna. What I'm gonna? Well, we we gotta cultivate that that big one field, and obviously we got a grass to get. And well, we we see you later in the evening.
we are here at the shop and our grass field is now mowed and we did it and the field 51 is cultivated so there there needs some lime spreading and seeding and things like that but we are here at the shop to trade our bale trailer so let's find the trigger where it is I'm not sure there you are uh, we're gonna repaint it uh, we're gonna repair it and 44,505 dollars I mean euros so that's been sold then we're gonna jump on the jump on the bail loaders we're gonna get this bailey bail and pallet trailer auto load yes mm. then some build yeah Decals, yes. Then some belt, yes. We gonna stick with the red. And let's get a little bit darker gray. So thirty thousand for that. Then uh, I have. A thinking about that uh didn't we have a wind rover on far we did have but i think that i have been uh deleted the mode that we have been used so we don't have wind row anymore so we gonna buy a cheap one because we got we don't need to get the bigger one because the those mowers that they, they spot so we just need for hay to wind rower so we are gonna take this 4.7 meters wind rower and we are gonna buy this so that is there <laughs> sorry and then what we else we need from this so we're gonna take this in the front of the John Deere yeah that's not the way to deliver those equipments but uh, well this is uh, this is a game uh, then we need obviously we need some lime and we gonna buy a eight bag of just this mm. let's put the help window on Operating select mode ground. Flatbed. Mm. Okay, so we need a uh, forklift for to here so we can get these lines back to our farm and obviously we need a little bit more we need some herbicide we're gonna take these pallets we're gonna take two that should be enough and then we're gonna we can want I want to lease uh, forklift in this 
Mm, this one or this one? How much? Three thousand. Okay, let's list that little one. Hopefully this will this will Let's take this herbicide for first That should be good spot Yeah And I'm gonna push this a little bit. Over there. And drop this here. Then we're gonna strap those. Yeah. And then we're gonna load these limes. Hopefully we can do it to ballots of time but I'm not sure if this is uh, capable to lift 4,000 liters in a one oh well, maybe not maybe it will I'm not so sure about this. Doesn't leave those. Well, just enough. Got to be careful. Then I'm gonna push those bags a little bit to the. They are there. Then we're gonna do two of those from the other side. Let's take this view. Can we do it like this? Oh yeah. This is what I do in real life. Driving forklifts, forklifts to on my day job. hard to see oh no that's not the good mm, it's gonna fall no yeah I managed to save that. Okay, let's trap those. Those. They are there, then there is a four more. And then we are done in here, so... Mm. I hate this.
Now they are okay. Notch a little bit. They are there, and then last two. Yeah, what a pro. We're gonna do these from the other side. This is driving me tra driving me crazy on with that one bag of lime. Don't Ooh, that was close. That was really close. Oh yeah. Let's see you at the farm. Okay. <clears throat> now the field is windrowed and it's ready to bale, to be baled. And I decided that I, I will uh, bale it with the 7R cause the 6M, it could pull that bale trailer, but uh, it, it got some uh, some transmission problems because it, it's, it's stuck on the second gear or something like that and, and the bale trailer is here here so that is a good thing about that bale trailer because because we can now deliver those apple apples to the selling point with that trailer we, we don't have to use two different trailers so that is a quite handy uh, but yeah, let's let's go then do the last of this episode job and it, it's baling those those hay bales. And they all be like I said, they all be all windrowed. And we, we're gonna see how how much how much hay would we get from that field. I'm gonna do with uh, actually can this baler do I believe one fifty is the biggest. One eighty. Well well do we'll do with one fifty because the one eighties are just just to maybe. Hmm that's uh Okay, let's take the help window on. There it is there. And 150. We do it a 150. A little bit more lights on the tractor and yeah, let's start bailing.
we gonna left these. Oh, a little bit too wide spot on this field. Maybe let's drop this bell over here. We can get a nice amount of hay bales from this field. I'm assuming we're gonna go with the 20 bales. Hopefully. And then the other field, grass field we're gonna do the silage. Silage bales. That's a little bit, almost two times bigger than this field. So. We definitely need more more silage than hay on this bale. We're gonna drop this on the top of the hill because we we don't I don't want them to be rolling on the to the spots that we haven't haven't baled. So let's stir this right here and we're gonna do the different direction. But yeah. Uh next episode we gonna we gonna press some lime on the till fifty one and then we gonna uh see it that with winter feed and then we gonna spray those weeds of the of the canola field and but yeah that's going to be a next episode uh, I'm gonna leave it this in here and all I have to say that subscribe my channel and like my videos if you want to share my videos please be my guest and yeah ring that bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos thanks for watching and see ya